This isn't fair at this age. Bernie Moss was in disbelief when his wife, Frances, was diagnosed with Alzheimer's at age 53. You know, you're, you're starting to take one of my best friends away from me. Moss retired from his job as a firefighter in December to be with his wife full time. I was getting telephone calls at work. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I know it's difficult for him to ask for help sometimes, but that's one of the things that he has learned how to do. The Moss's daughter, Lori, is also a caregiver. Almost all of us are going to be caregivers at some point. That point came early for the Moss family. They're part of a group of more than 44 million Americans caring for other adults. That number is expected to rise as baby boomers age and life expectancy increases. These are the cards that have been handled, handed to us, and we have to play them accordingly. And you recognize Nat? Yeah. Susan Krausen says moving her father into her home is the hardest thing her family has ever done. We lost our privacy. Uh, we lost our freedom. 90-year-old Warner Howe has Alzheimer's and requires constant care. Much Honestly, he doesn't know I'm his daughter. Krausen is part of what's called the sandwich generation. She's not only caring for a parent, but also her youngest daughter. For me, having him here is just having another dependent. Um, for the family, they lost a lot of me. According to AARP, the care family and friends provide each year is valued at $375 billion. One of the best things is to do is to take a walk around your parents' neighborhood, make friends with their neighbors, uh, and say, please, if you notice anything amiss, call me. Here's my card. What everybody needs to do is to call a family meeting and get all the siblings, get, get close friends, neighbors, whoever, can form a circle of care. Krausen's circle of care is relatively small. She is one of five children, but she says most of her siblings keep their distance. Then call for his birthday. You know, they never email me and say, how's it going? Um, they've never said thank you. Krausen is thankful she can care for her father, even though he no longer knows who she is. Being able to see my dad makes me really happy. For UPI.com, I'm Melissa Hinkle.